Dear Vice President Harris, I too grew up a middle class kid. And unlike you, I am now a middle class adult. Growing up in a working class household was actually a blessing that I wouldn't trade for anything in the world. I learned the value of hard work, how to get by on the bare essentials and be grateful for it. The importance of celebrating family holidays, great meals, family traditions, and how not to take anything for granted. Unlike other kids who had fathers that played ball in the backyard, mine was busy trying to get as much overtime as he could at the plant. Every once in a while, we would save enough to take a family vacation somewhere special. Not a fancy trip, but maybe a drive from our home in Michigan to Gatlinburg, Tennessee for a few days. I remember when my dad saved up enough overtime money to buy a used Lincoln Town car. He was so proud of that vehicle that he used to say, I feel like a big shot now. This was life in the Midwest working class town, and we were proud of it. Not because it was an outstanding place, but because we appreciated what we had, and we didn't really worry about how much more someone else had. Flash forward to life now as a middle class adult. The factory that my dad worked at is closed. Most of those jobs moved to China a long time ago. I'm told that someone thought giving China quote unquote most favored nation trading status would give us access to their markets and possibly introduce them to American freedom so they could become more like us. But it was all a lie. They just took our jobs and if anything, we'd become more like them. The middle class town I grew up in is now the hood. Drug overdoses are quite common, especially fentanyl deaths. Thankfully, I was able to escape that neighborhood. I've moved up to a safer area in a more rural community that's still very middle class. But like my father, I work many long hours trying to survive. I have to drive a lot further now since my old neighborhood isn't safe and gas isn't cheap. I know you keep pushing me to buy a battery powered vehicle, but even with your subsidies, I couldn't afford one even if I wanted to. And frankly, it doesn't even have enough power to get down my driveway in the winter. Grocery prices are through the roof. My monthly energy bills are through the roof. And yet you keep shutting down supply to the power grid, which is driving costs up further. This is all because of you and your policies. It was not this way under Trump. My family and I fared far better under his policies. I know you only recite the talking point about growing up a middle-class kid because some research person told you to say those words, but the truth is, not only are you no longer middle-class, but you also don't even see us anymore. Donald Trump may not have grown up middle-class, but I know he sees us, and he loves this country. I don't really care how you grew up. I see who you are now and the things you've done over the last four years. And I'm convinced that you never knew us. Sincerely, Middle Class America. <laughs>